In this video, we solve problem 5.2.36 from Essentials of Statistics 6th edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says when purchasing bulk orders of batteries, a toy, a toy excuse me, manufacturer uses this acceptance sampling plan. Randomly select and test 56 batteries and determine whether each is within specifications. The entire shipment is accepted, accepted if at most three batteries do not meet specifications. A shipment contains 5,000 batteries and 1% of them do not meet specifications. What's the probability that this whole shipment will be accepted? Will almost all such shipments be accepted or will many be rejected? So first we're asked to find the probability that the whole shipment will be accepted and asked also to round to four decimal places. To show you how to do this, I will show you my sheet of paper. Okay, clearly we're dealing with a binomial distribution. And because when we're talking about batteries, either they work or they don't work. Now we've got this acceptance sampling plan that says that we're going to accept this shipment of 5,000 batteries if we randomly select 56 batteries and then determine whether each of those 56 batteries is within specifications. We're going to accept the entire shipment if at most three batteries do not meet specifications. So we're going to define success, excuse me, as not meeting specifications. And the number of trials is 56 because we're looking at 56 batteries. Now we're told that a shipment contains 5,000 batteries and 1% do not meet specifications. So the probability of um, success in one trial is that 1%, but we want that in decimal form, so we're going to move that decimal over twice, so we'll have 0 0.01. That's the probability of a particular battery not meeting specifications. And then the question says, what is the probability that the whole shipment will be accepted? Now remember, the shipment will be accepted if at most three batteries do not meet specifications. So we're looking for um, the probability that x is less than or equal to three. So that means we might have uh, three batteries that don't meet specifications or two batteries that don't meet specifications or one battery that does not meet specifications or zero batteries, if we're really lucky, that does not meet specifications out of the 56. So we're going to compute um, binomial probabilities for x equals 3, 2, 1, and 0, and we'll just add those together. The probability of not meeting specifications in one trial is 1% or 0 0.01, and that means the probability of meeting specifications is 99%. So for each of these here, we're going to use this formula. The probability of X successes in N trials is given by the number of ways that you can choose X different batteries in this case out of N total batteries. The number of ways that you can choose that is given by this formula for the combination the number of combinations where you're choosing X out of N. And then you multiply by um, the probability of success in one trial um, raised to the X power. So if you have three successes, you're gonna take that probability of success, that 0 0.01 and multiply by 0 0.01 and multiply by 0 0.01 again, kind of like when you're using the multiplication rule. And then we're going to take that and we're going to multiply by the probability of failure in one trial raised to the number of failures. If there are x successes, there are n minus x failures. So that's what we'll use here. We're going to use it four times. So the probability of success in three trials, if n is 56, that's 56 factorial over 
56 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial times the probability of success in one trial. And we've got three successes here. And then there were 56 batteries. If three are successful, then 53 are not successful. So that's a probability of getting three out of 56 batteries that don't work. And we're saying, saying that that not working is a, a success. Now we'll do the same thing for x equals two. So we evaluate that there. We've got 0 0.01 squared. That's the probability of success in one trial squared because you've got two successes times the probability of failure in one trial. If you have 56 trials and two of them were successes, 54 of them um, were not successes. Probability um, that we have one success in those 56 uh, trials is given by this formula. You have 0 0.01 to the first probability of success raised to the number of successes times the probability of failure raised to the number of failures. And then lastly, you have the probability of getting um, zero successes out of those 56 trials. You have zero successes and 56 um, failures. And that's our answer. We just need to simplify it. Now this 56 factorial over 53 factorial can be written this way. That's 56 times 57, or not times 57, times 55, times 54, times 53 factorial, all over 53 factorial, times three factorial, which is three times two. Those 53s reduce 53 factorials. So we'll have that there. And then six actually goes into 59 nine times. And then here we have 56 factorial over 54 factorial. So you have 56 times 55 times 54 factorial over 54 factorial times two factorial. It's the same as two, uh, 56 divided by um, two is uh, 25 plus three or 28. And then for the next one, you've got 56 factorial over 55 factorial. And one factorial is of course just one. So the 55 factorials cancel. And then for the last one, you've got 56 factorial over 56 factorial times zero factorial. And of course, all of those is reduced to one. And we have this here. Okay, so now let's do the arithmetic. I'll enter this in my calculator. I have 56 times 55 times nine times 0 0.01 cubed times 0 0.99 raised to the 53rd power. So that's that first one. And now we're adding 28 times 55 times 0 0.01 squared times 0 0.99 raised to the 54th power plus 56 times 0 0.01 times 0 0.99 raised to the 55th power plus this and anything to the zero is one. So this is one times one times 0.99 raised to the 56th power. And we get this 0 
seven five seven and let's look at our homework and see how they want us to answer this question so it says round to four decimal places as needed so that's zero point nine nine um, seven six why don't we round okay so that means we're going to accept 99.76 percent if we move that decimal over twice of the shipments and then we'll reject the complement of that so i'm just going to subtract that from one so that we're, reje we're rejecting 0 0.24% of shipments. So almost all of the shipments will be accepted.